a normally quiet suburban neighborhood in Ottawa South End, now dealing with a nightmare. Like a family moving from Sri Lanka to here with like such a young family with young kids, they probably had a lot of hopes and dreams. So it's very sad. They lived here in the townhouse where late Wednesday night, police found six people dead, including 35-year-old Darshani Delanthika Akanayaki and her four young children, seven-year-old Inika, four-year-old Ashwini, two-year-old Rinyana, and two-month-old Kelly. The other victim, 40-year-old Gamani Amarakon, who was living with the family. This one will undoubtedly weigh on the hearts of everyone for a long time. The only survivor was Danushka Wikramasinghe, the children's father. Neighbors saw him screaming in the driveway, asking for help. He was rushed to hospital with serious injuries. A monk at the family's Buddhist monastery has been to visit him. I cannot say he's doing well, but uh, he's a little bit stronger than we thought. And uh, he's with some injuries and uh, got, uh, yeah, Mentally, he's in a great shock. Police have arrested Febrio de Zoisa, who also lived in the home. He has now appeared in court, charged with six counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. They allege he attacked the victims with an edged weapon. Police say he's an international student, new to Canada, also from Sri Lanka. Bhante Sunita says the family recently celebrated his 19th birthday. He asked... The, the, the family that he liked to eat uh, even cheesecake. They even provide that they bought and they 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 provide ev provided everything for make him happy. As the investigation continues, the community now coming to grips with the horror of what happened. Well, like I'm obviously in shock and uh, I can't I can't explain it. It's tough. Did you know them? No, I didn't. But. I mean, I'm seeing it, <clears throat> seeing the guys in their white suits and everything. It's more real now. So, Nicole, you're at the local park where people gathered uh, together tonight for that vigil. What are you hearing from people there? Yes, well, dozens of people have been streaming into this park over the course of the evening. And the few people that we have spoken to say just how devastated they are. But many people have been coming here to lay down candles, flowers, notes, teddy bears, all in honors of the victim. And many of them standing silently to reflect on really what happened here today. City officials are saying to check in on each other and their loved ones as police really just try to make sense of exactly why this happened. Indeed. All right, Nicole Williams in Ottawa, thank you. Ottawa Mayor Mark Sutcliffe joins us now. I'm really sorry we're having this conversation, Mr. Mayor. And as mayor, you know, you have to be rattled. Uh, we understand first responders are certainly shaken. So how are you? And what are you hearing tonight about how people are doing? Thank you, Adrian. It's been a very, very tough day. And I think for everyone in the community, they're just shaken by the events, especially the fact that not only have six people been killed, but four of those are children and they're young children. And speaking to you, not just as mayor, but as a father, I'm thinking about the, the man who is in hospital tonight and has lost his whole family. And I, I cannot even begin to imagine what he's going through, but I've spoken with a lot of other parents and members of the community today who are, who are sympathizing greatly with that with that individual and and who are hoping and praying for him and uh, are just devastated by this news that has really shaken our community so you now have this uh, this community that's really hurting and as you said a husband and father who's lost everything what do you do now as a city what do you do next we have to pull together as a community. Ottawa is a very safe city and and we're fortunate to live in a community that is largely free from this kind of violence. And, and this is an isolated incident. The police are saying there is no continuing security threat or threat to public safety. So we, we have to pull together as a community and support each other. A lot of people will have been affected by this, including neighbors and, and people close to the family and, and children in schools uh, where, where some of the young members of this family went to school. We must pull together and support each other. Tomorrow I'm hosting a breakfast for International Women's Day and we're going to observe a moment of silence. And I'm encouraging 
other Ottawa residents and workplaces and, and community organizations to find their own way to show their support for this family and for the Sri Lankan community in Ottawa and to demonstrate their solidarity by observing a moment of silence or, or demonstrating their support in some other way. All right, Mayor Sutcliffe, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you.